Yes. This is the scene from the upcoming movie trailer I'm working on. It's that scene again. It's a neat scene because it combines a lot of stuff that I can make tutorials on. So in this video we will talk about how to create non-uniform random realistic roads. In this scene I created this parking lane, different lines for non-parking zones and these middle lines. And I was very smart if I can say so myself as I actually used one texture only for all these lines. The basis of the road is a random high quality asphalt texture that can be found online, for example on cc0textures.com that has hundreds of free PBR textures. So download the texture and put it on your road model. The road can be very simple, just a cube stretched out, also add some loop cuts for small variations and bumps on the surface. There aren't usually many roads that are completely straight. Here comes magic. Add the little plane. Download the road line texture for this, it should be simple and high resolution. Add this PBR texture with the node wrangler add-on that can be enabled from the preferences. Use Control Shift T to add an automatic PBR setup. And we have a line. Here under the object settings for cycles turn off shadow so this won't create a weird floating effect. Move the line close to the load. Add an array modifier and it's finished. For a bumpy road it's advised to add a shrimp fab modifier. This will wrap the lines on top of the road so they will look like they are part of the original road texture but they aren't. Also subdivide them so they can bend according to the road shape. Add the middle lines, then add the parking lanes, and use the basic S shortcut for resizing or keep adjusting the number of objects in the array modifier to resize the object. Then add a lot of details, maybe different parking lines as in res. Okay, thanks to the shrink wrap, they all wrap onto the surface. And thanks to adjusting the settings before, feel free to copy the road lines every time you want to use them. We don't need to turn off shadows or add modifiers in the future because we have already done it. With this you can add basically editing to the roads, and they will be very random and realistic. Much better than only using one repetitive road texture. To create a curve, just get a line object, go into edit mode, subdivide it, use proportional editing to bend the line, and we have our bent lines everywhere. Of course you can rotate them around one by one if your scene needs that kind of adjustment, so that works too. Okay, this was a mini blender burger tutorial, hopefully you enjoyed this and have a use of these ideas. See you guys, donate me using the links in the description if you wish, also turn on notifications to never miss out on new tutorials that I'm uploading all the time, every day, every night, forever. Just kidding, I'm not a tutorial, I've actually pull something like that off yet.